Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing another random division break of 2013 Panini Momentum Football. We're doing break number six. Number seven in the store right now, but we're doing break six right now, division six, as it says on the top of the screen. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. There are the divisions. Let's randomize each list five times, two and a three. Names first, one, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Rick down to Josh. Rick with the last bot mojo is on top. And two and a three, five times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, and five. NFC South down to the AFC East. Boop. There we go. Boop and boop. All right. Rick Hunt with the NFC South. Andrew, NFC West, NFC East. Connor with the AFC North, Josh with the AFC South, Connor with the AFC West, James with the NFC North, and Josh with the AFC East. Let's alphabetize by division. Let's print this out, and we'll go. I don't think there's going to be any trades. I, I usually don't see trades in divisions. But speak now, or forever hold your peace, or until the next break anyway. 2013. Keep the 2013 draft class in mind. Um, I've got a list up from Wikipedia. Ezekiel Ansa, Sheldon. I don't know if these guys are in the checklist, but these are some of the bigger names from the draft. Sheldon Richardson, Tyler Eifert, Desmond Trufant, DeAndre Hopkins, Corey L. Patterson, uh, Le'Veon Bell in the second round, uh, Eddie Lacy also in the late in the second round, Travis Kelsey top of the third round, Tyron Matthew, uh, Jordan Reed is in there, uh, Niall Davis. Who else would probably be in this set? Uh, maybe Latavius Murray might be in there. So those are some of the bigger names there. Uh, I think C.J. Anderson is a rookie as well, but I'm not sure if he's in this set. He was an undrafted player. He was picked up by the Broncos. All right. So it looks like no trades. So we're going to stick with this. There you go. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Saturday night. I know you can, there's a lot of things people could be doing, but I'm... Happy that you guys are spending some time with me. Appreciate it. And bear with me while I stress out about the Dodgers. The Dodgers, I feel like, they have to grind this game out. This has The Dodgers' bats have not been very good. Astros' pitching has been very great. Um, the Dodgers basically need to grind out a run and basically try to win this one 2-1. You know, and then give the ball over to Kershaw tomorrow and try to grind out another game. Because once the, if the Astros get to the Dodgers bullpen, which is supposed to be their strength, they start scoring runs. I just don't know if that Do if the Dodgers bats can wake up in Houston for whatever reason. They're just not hitting in Houston. They're doing fine in LA, but but their their lack of production with runners in scoring position has been an issue since really the NLDS, the NLCS. But they were winning, so no, you know, it wasn't really a big deal. But now it's becoming a big deal once you're facing the Astros pitching and their bullpen and all that. We'll see. All right, back to the football. We're gonna start off with oh yeah, Ryan Matthews and Robert Meacham, 46 out of 99. Relic for the Chargers AFC West. That's for Connor. Cody's thinking that Justin Turner will come out of his slump. Well, they're all in a slump. They got a well. If Cody Bellinger just finally got out of a slump. He was like 0 for six in the last two games up to that point, up to his double with five strikeouts. It's not good. Vance McDonald for the NFC West. But yeah, hopefully Justin Turner will be able to turn it around too. 195 out of 199, you've got Rodney Smith. Uh, that is for the Vikings. That is NFC North. That will be James. Yeah, not a good time to be slumping, Scott. That's true. Hello, by the way. I saw you say hi earlier. There's Kerwin Williams, 225 out of 599. Autograph. And Justin Turner is usually kind of Mr. Clutch. 
or at least playoff wise, he always he always seems to really step up. So Dodgers need to just grind out at least a win, leaving Houston, preferably tonight. <laughs> Otherwise, they're down one three, but preferably tonight, and then just keep grinding it out from there. Ninety eight out of ninety nine. Kenny Stills, NFC South. That'll go to uh, Rick with Last Spot Mojo. There you go, Rick. We got Robert Woods. Nice. That's pretty cool. Triple Relic and Autograph. Hopefully Robert Woods will find new life in L.A., here in L.A. He kind of has. Went to USC. And a pretty pretty vibrant offense. So this is, a, this is a cool one to get. Nice rookie signatures. 155 out of 299. AFC East, Josh Miller. With the Bills. Still Bills edition in this set. Joseph Randall, 67 out of 299. Triple Relic, Rookie Team Threads, NFC East. C.O. Turtle with that one. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate you understanding. Marquise Goodwin, another one for the AFC East. 270 out of 299. Upside Jumbo. Wow, nice hit, Lee. In the chat. <laughs> you know what? I just I asked a question before. If Ab Ab Abner's asking, is that guy still in jail or something? I was like, where is he now? There's DeAndre Hopkins, 215 out of 299, upside jumbo. Maybe he's still in. I have no idea where he is. Someone let us know what, what, what Joseph Randall is doing. What is he up to now? All right, so last bit of 2013, Panini Momentum Football, random division. Ertz. Zach Ertz, 35 out of 49. Nice rookie team threads. It's a good one to have. NFC East, C.O. Turtle. Nice. And Dayton Jones autograph, rookie initiation. And that's for the NFC North Packers, James Goodman there. Now, before I go, this break is done, but we got to look at what Joseph Randall is doing because I just can't leave I just can't leave, uh, leave you guys hanging right there. Legal trouble. On April 22nd, 2017, so earlier this year, he was convicted by a jury of aggravated battery Aggravated burglary, jeez, criminal threat, and possession of marijuana. The jury acquitted him on one count of aggravated battery, though. The jury was also hung on two other counts of aggravated battery and one count of criminal damage to property. Prosecutors will decide the following that week if they want to retry Randall for the counts the jury was hung on. So I guess he's going to jail. Has he been sentenced yet? I have no idea. So there you go. There's your Joseph Randall news from jaspieshobbyland.com. This is Joe. We'll see you next time. Joseph.